Hello YouTubers, Duke Kaido. Today I'm doing a review on the History of Dalek slash 16 and 17 set, which is based off the, um, the new series, or the revival series era, um, from two stories, Dalek and Iron mean, Ghost and Doomsday. And the reason why I say, because this is the bronze Dalek as seen from Dalek, and this is Dalek Sec as seen from Iron Ghost and Doomsday, and Dalek Sec of Manhattan Evolution of the Daleks. So um, we will begin with the bronze Dalek. Now, as you know, um, it's a different paint job than the other previous redesigned bronze Daleks figure that we've got in the past. Like, yeah, I think it's more accurate and I like how it looks. Um, it's got the, uh, I feel like the bottom part where the rollers would be is a lot more better, more accurate color looking. The spear balls are a little bit more lighter co gold color. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's a really nice looking Dalek. So yeah, um... The eye stalk and the plunger still look the same. The hair does a 360 degree loop. Um, it's got its its tag code right here. I don't know what it what sort. I think it's just a soldier. The lone Dalek you could call it. I meant to say it's lone Dalek. It's got that very shiny metallic like appearance to it. The plunger and the gun do a 360. The the these detachables right here are painted bron a bronze a bronze gold color when technically they were a dark brown color in the show so yeah overall it's a fantastic overall i like it. it's one of my favorite action figures overall i think it's a fantastic design they really got it right really got it right it's a real fantastic bronze dalek figure i think it's uh, they did a where the care options did a better job here and i'm glad they brought it back so yeah and now we have a look at the uh, the redesigned Dalek Sec. Now, as you know, I've been trying to get my hands on the redesigned Dalek Sec. I think it's much better than the original Dalek Sec we've got. Now, it's in the black metallic color that it is, like the previous Dalek Sec figures are. It does a 360 degree, so yeah. It's all in black metallic, and I like about it. So yeah, this is a figure I've been really been trying to get my hands on, the redesigned Dalek Sec. I'm so glad I got it now, and I think it looks so much better than the original one that we got back in like the mid and late 2000s, so yeah, fan, it's a, I love about it, it's got that shiny metallic to it, the, like how clean and sturdy it looks, like, sort of like, like the black, reminds me of the black Supreme Daleks, uh, like the black Supreme Daleks in the original series, so yeah, so overall, I know this was a quick view, but this is, so glad, I'm glad that we're finally getting history of Dalek sets based around the moderns of the modern series here. And I, I, the next ones are going to be based around Bad Wolf and Pony the Wise next, which I'm hoping that they give us a redesign of the Assault Dalek and the uh, the Sonic Boom Dalek as a free inch scale of that figure already exists. And, uh, and a remote, a 12 inch remote control version of that Dalek also exists as well. So yeah, I'm, Hope they give us the Sonic Boom Dalek next. And hopefully for the next new series, hopefully we get some Dalek Titan and Evolution Dalek set with uh, Dalek Khan and Dalek Just. That would be so great. And then we have the Cold of Scarro. So yeah, and then... And a re-release of the, the Red Supreme Dalek and the Crystal Dalek from Stonelift Journey's End. And that would be pretty much it for the Russell D. Davis one era era Daleks, and then for 2025, we could focus more on the, uh, on the, uh, the Moffat era Daleks, so, yeah, so later now, bye, not forever, this is Duke K-Dive, signing off, bye.